hi guys welcome back to our channel again in this video we will see how we can install Kylie Linux on our virtual box so we will use virtual box to install this at first we need to download Kylie Linux from the kylie.org this website so this is the website to download the software so after coming here you'll find downloads link just click the downloads link and then the download page will be appeared but we are trying to install on our virtual box so we have to scroll down a little bit and at the bottom of this table we will find two links for virtual box one is for 64 bit and there is 32 bit we need to download so to download for example 64 bit we need to go to this location or if you want to download for 32 bit you have to go to this location so my computer is 64 bit so i'm going to click here to start the download so in this page uh, this is actually other website this is called offensive security website okay here you will find the virtual box images over here so here you will find all the virtual boxes images by default it will be expanded the vmware images but we are not using vmware we are using virtual box so we have to click here then it will be expanded and other things will be minimized okay so here we are seeing that the versions of virtual box of Kali Linux is there so if your computer is 64 bit then download this version or if it is 32 bit versions then just download 32 bit version mine is 64 bit so I'm going to download this one so I'm just going to click here and it will start download very shortly so it's a big size we are seeing 3.1 gigabyte and it will take some time so for me it is showing that it will take like 15 to 20 minutes so once the download is finished then I will continue with the tutorial once the download is finished just close this thing because we don't need it anymore and from here uh, we will use uh, this one uh, this this is the ova file so we'll use this thing uh, to install uh, kali linux in virtual box so now let's we have to open uh, the virtual box we can open virtual box from windows so click on the start menu and then type vir something virtual uh, and once you type this thing you'll see that Oracle VM virtual box is there. Just, just click there to start the virtual box. So once the virtual box is open, what we have to do? We have to link uh, this virtual box uh, location with this uh, Kali Linux one. Okay, to install that. So at first, what we have to do? We have to import this thing. So uh, this is thing we also don't need. We can close this thing. And now this is the virtual box. So what we have to do? We have to click on file, and then uh, we'll find one option: import appliance okay we have to go there so i'm going to click here and then it will open uh, this window so from here we have to show where is the location of that uh, virtual box uh, file for kali linux so i'm going to click here and then it will open this thing and we have to go to the download location so for our case the download location is under downloads and over there we'll see this one kali linux okay and then what we have to do we have to click open and then it will be linked over there then what we have to do we have to click on next button to go to the next skin and in this space this is actually a plain setting space you can uh, actually configure a couple of things like ram then cpu and guest operating system type you can actually uh, configure that for me uh, i prefer to change the name uh, so that it will be easier so right now it is uh, like this to change the name just double click over there and then uh, type in name whatever we like so for me i'm typing on the kelly okay that's fine for me and then once you choose the name just hit enter key and the name will be fixed and there are a couple of other settings other settings you can actually check those things but i'm not going to change anything the default option is fine for me and now what we have to do we have to click on import once we click the import then it will start uh, importing the OS in our virtual box so before going to there uh, I mean to start the importing it will ask you uh, software license agreement and we have to agree otherwise you cannot continue so I'm going to hit agree button and then it will start very shortly and you will find this type of progress bar and uh, this is actually importing uh, the necessary files or folders everything for our KD Linux in our virtual box it will take some time uh, it will show you like 4 minutes to 20 minutes based on the computer performance and configuration be patient uh, for a couple of minutes and once uh, it is complete then i'll continue with the video tutorial once the import is completed successfully then it's time to start our Kali linux uh, operating system using this virtual box so there is a 
green color button start so if we press start button and then if we wait few seconds then it will start the Kali Linux uh, on our virtual box system okay and this will be the virtual box uh, virtual operating system and we are seeing that it is starting so here it is starting and we are seeing that virtual box 6.1 and it is loading uh, don't touch it uh, it will take some time and it will give you on panel uh, where you have to put the username and password okay so just wait few seconds uh, for the first time it takes some time to load everything because it is initializing everything and after that uh, it is it will be loaded first firstly compared to the first time so i am going to uh, wait uh, till the login panel for this kali linux is appeared over there we have to type uh, the username and password uh, let me tell you uh, the default username and password for this version of kali linux is uh, kelly and kelly okay it should be same there is no difference it's always a small letter username and password both are k a l i and k a l i both of them so just wait uh, it is actually booting everything it is initializing all the graphics card or everything and then once it is finished uh, initialization everything then it will prompt you this type of username and password panel so here we have to type username and here you have to type type the password so i told you the default username is k e l i not k e sorry k a l i and then password also same k a l i and then once you type the username and password both of them are the same then click on login button and it will uh, start logging of your Kali Linux computer that means the operating system and it will take time some time I told you this is for the first time it takes some time uh, because it, it is trying to initialize couple of things and then once it is done then you will find this type of thing uh, it will be like bluish color something like that and uh, for virtual box you will find this type of warning you can actually ignore it and then uh, it is done so once you uh, the on the installation and loading of Kali Linux is completed on a virtual box then we can also configure the display size right now it is like rectangle or like a square type of thing okay so we can change the resolution to do this we have to click here uh, in this uh, top left corner and then after that uh, it will open this type of thing over here just type display and once you type display you will find this type of computer like thing so just double click here or single click then it will give you uh, to configure the display properties so right now if you click this drop down you'll find all the resolution which is supported by your operating system uh, it also depends on your graphics card also so for example i want to uh, make our computer like uh, this resolution 1280 by 960 so we have to select it and after selecting this resolution what we have to do we have to click on apply and then it will automatically uh, adjust the resolution or the graphics properties okay now we are seeing that uh, it was previously re rectangle or square like thing and right now it is like good resolution uh, 1280 and 960 you can also change the uh, refresh rate also from here uh, if your computer is supported uh, by this refresh rate i mean your graphics card and also you can also have option uh, the rotation thing uh, left right or something and deflection also you have this thing so uh, that's all so in this way you can easily install Kali Linux and then after that uh, you can close this display so one more thing I want to mention that sometimes you also need to install some tools which are related to VM uh, virtual box uh, it will help you uh, to copy from other system like your Windows system or Mac system to here uh, to copy paste some of the folder or files something like that so for doing that what you have to do you have to go device and after clicking device it will pop up this table window I just click insert guest additional CDMS uh, and then it will actually create on virtual like disk like thing so you can double click and you can you can see over there there are a couple of software so you can actually down uh, copy and put it in the download location and then you can install those things uh, if you need okay so i'm not going to uh, show you how to do this thing in this video but if you need you can also do this thing but i will uh, suggest you another one thing so once you finish installation then just up Date and upgrade your uh, some of the settings so what you have to do just open terminal you can click here terminal or you can click here and then you can type terminal here and you can uh, open the terminal okay so both options are the same so i'm going to click here this is a shortcut 
and the uh, terminal window will be open very shortly okay on the terminal window is open then uh, just type a couple of commands uh, one of the popular command is su do sudo uh, then apt then dash get then after that uh, type update update and then uh, space then type uh, double ampersand sign and then apt again apt dash gate and upgrade up g r a d update once you type this thing just hit enter key of your keyboard and then it will give you uh, this option that it will try to do this thing and here it will ask you to put the password uh, we know the password is kali k a l i just type it and press enter again and on the password is successful i mean password messed uh, then it will try to download a couple of things and it will download to update and upgrade your system settings or something uh, this thing these are actually mentioned about there okay and it will take some time it depends on the internet speed and how fast your computer is processing so it takes some time uh, so uh, we are seeing that still now it is doing and once it is finished then it will give you uh, this thing that reading package this done uh, everything is done okay so in this way actually you can actually uh, use this settings command to update some of the settings so once it is done then you can close it and your system is ready to use so that's all thank you guys uh, for watching the video i feel uh, after watching this video you are able to install uh, this kylie linux open system on your virtual box computer uh, hopefully this will be helpful for you and if you feel this video is useful for you uh, just hit the like button and also subscribe to our channel thank you for watching see you on the next video